good morning my dear children how are you so we are moving to the second chapter of your textbook of english textbook the ant tickles and the lion what's the name of the second chapter ant tickles and the lion so take this chapter in your textbook so one day a young roman named ant tickles was hiding in a forest he was a runaway slave suddenly he heard a lion roaring he became frightened and climbed up a tree he listened to the roaring lion the lion did not sound angry but it sounded as it as if it was in great pain and rickles was a kind man and did not like to think of an animal in pain he climbed down the tree and went towards the lion so what happened one day a roman man a roman citizen named andrickles what is the name of the character andrickles and andrickles was hiding in a forest he was hiding in a forest why was he hiding in the forest because he was a runaway slave who was a slave a slave is a person owned by another person a slave is a person owned by another person i have a slave with me so i can do anything with the slave that is a kind of that is kind of person is called that kind of person is called a slave so and rickles was a slave and he ran away and so he was hiding in the forest and inside the forest he heard a big sound a big roaring sound of cry who was crying a lion was crying and he went to the lion what was happening the uh, that lion was in a pain or some kind of pain was happening to the lion lion was in a pain he saw the lion lying on the ground and roaring in pain the lion saw and rickles and held out its paw and rickles saw a huge thorn stuck in its paw he pulled out the thorn and bandaged the wound the lion jumped up and licked and rickles it then ran off into the deep forest and and rickles went on his way whistling happily so what was why was the lion crying the lion was crying because on its on its paw what is paw this portion of its leg is paw so on its paw there was a thorn a thorn was there in the paw of the lion and lion was crying with pain and it 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 showed the paw to the ant rickles and what did the ant rickles do he was a very kind man so the ant rickles what did he do he pulled out the thorn and set the lion free so the lion was suffering from a uh, suffering from the pain of a thorn and the ant rickles pulled out the thorn from the lion's leg one day some roman soldiers came searching for ant rickles he was arrested by them and thrown into prison he was told that he would have to fight a hungry lion and if he won he would be set free and it was feared that he would be killed who could fight a lion with his bare hands so what happened the andrickles was a slave you know andrickles was a slave and he ran away now the roman soldiers the roman soldiers found out andrickles and put him in the prison and asked him to fight a hungry lion so what what was the romans going to do this romans was going to put andrickles in front of a hungry lion and andrickles should fight with the lion and how can it happen because a lion a hungry lion will eat the man and this man is bare handed he does not have any weapon so he is very helpless so this uh, we will discuss the rest of the uh, story in the next class so i hope this is clear for you now we are uh, learning the lesson chapter 2 and rickles and the lion and rickles is a man a roman man a slave he was a slave and he ran away from the roman soldiers and he hid in the forest and in the forest he saw a lion crying in pain and the big and because of a thorn uh, the uh, lion was suffering pain from a thorn stuck in its paw and this ant rickles pulled out the thorn and set the lion free now the roman soldiers found out ant rickles hiding in the forest and put him in the prison and they asked him to fight with the lion 
clear so i hope this is clear for you write the notes and we can discuss this class in our zoom section okay thank you